Hello, welcome to the April edition of this month's experiment from the Reuben H. Fleet Science Center in San Diego. I'm Caitlin Schindler. And I'm Brandon Elliott. So today we're going to be doing some experiments with color. And we want to thank Steve Spangler Science again for helping us out with this experiment. I'm going to go through all of the materials that you need for this experiment. But remember, you can find a list of all the materials on our website, rhfleet.org. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. We are going to need some milk. Preferably whole milk, in this case. whole milk, there's one with a lot of fat, like half and half, whole milk works best. Um, we need some pie plates, some plates like this, uh, food coloring, which is what that is there. We have some Q-tips and some dish soap. And is that it? That is it. That's all we Easy. need for this month's experiment. So first we're going to take one of our plates, a pie plate works, any kind of shallow plate with a fairly good lip on it. We're going to pour in milk until it completely covers the bottom of the plate. All right. All right. You may want to let your milk get to room temperature before you do this. That can make, uh, make a little bit of a better experiment here. OK. All right, so now we're going to put one of each of the four colors. We're going to put a couple of drops into the center of the milk, right? All right. All right. I got the green and the red. I have, there we go. All right, right and in I the center. I have yellow and blue. Awesome. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to, all right. I got a cotton swab here. Now, let's see what happens if we just put the plain old cotton swab right in the middle. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. All right. Now, what happens if we put a little bit of soap on the end of our cotton swab here and then put it right in the middle? Hold it in. Whoa. Whoa! It's an explosion of hey, color. Hey, we just got a nice explosion. Ooh, oh, hey, and if we hold it in, we keep getting more. Here, why don't you try okay. adding a little. Okay. I'm going to go on the other end here. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, put it back in. Put it back All in. All over the place. Oh, that's really cool. Very cool. All right. So what's happening here is that milk is mostly water. But it also has a lot of other molecules in it, like proteins and fat. And when you add the soap in, it disrupts the chemical bonds that are holding all these different molecules in solution. And so it bumps the molecules around everywhere, including the food coloring. So we get these really cool patterns going. Now at the same time, this soap here is forming little clusters of soap molecules. Those are called micelles. And adding that soap, it causes swirling and churning whenever a soap cluster meets a little fat molecule. And then one final thing is that in the beginning, a lot of that food coloring was sitting right on the surface of the milk. And when you, we added the soap, it disrupts the surface tension. So that makes our food coloring start to zing around everywhere. And look at that. The colors are still changing and moving yep. even though we're not even touching it anymore. Right. That, that whole reaction's still going. Exactly. The soap is still going around, bouncing into the fat and causing these really cool explosions to happen. Nice. Well, very cool. Excellent. So yeah, at home you could see what happens when you use more soap or less soap. What happens if you started off putting the food coloring around the outside instead of in the middle. See what happens if you put soap in different locations. There's a lot of things you could do to uh, change this experiment up a little bit. All right, well, thanks, Caitlin. And thank you for watching at home. Be sure to check us out next month. And until then, remember, do, do try, try this, this at home. home.